Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Skippy College. Today's special guest is a very distinguished and lovely American actor who's been nominated times for the award, Miss Piper Laurie. And with her is the producer of her new film, Jacqueline Giraud, and the director, Armand Mastrioni. The film is Distortions. And now, without further delay, here he is, the man of the half an hour, Skippy Lowe. Congratulations. Thank you. Nominated this year. I'm so happy for you again. You excited? I, I'm excited, yes, and surprised. Surprised? Why would you be surprised? Piper Laurie, why? It never occurred to me. It was just a small uh, part, but yes, but there's yes. never a small part when Piper That's Laurie's in a film. <laughs> ever. Ever. You're a very exciting actress. An American actress, a good one too. And I must say something to you. Movie, Universal Studios. What happened? You left Universal, moved to New York, you really became an actress then. Tell me about those days. I was very lucky. I, I was signed under contract when I was a teenager. And, right. um, and uh, I had no technique and, uh, as an actress. Right. And, and the parts I I was given were sort of caricatures of people, and I, I didn't know how to handle them, and uh, and they didn't know what to do with me. The, the movies were successful, but right. um, I just got uh, tired of it. Uh, the most fun I'd had was between movies, when I, mean, I would disguise myself as interesting people and you know, hang out around the, the sets and and uh, fool people and. And then finally, I just got fed up with it, and I uh, you went to New York decided and uh, that I didn't want the money. I just wanted out, and uh, and uh, said, "I, you can arrest me, sue me, uh -huh. anything, but I'm not going to work anymore until I get some freedom here." And uh -huh. So I got out of my contract and went to New York. Studied immediately. Did you do? What did you do immediately when you arrived in New York? Uh, I worked with Sandy Meisner for a while. Mm -hmm. And I just waited until a part came along that was different from the sort of junky things that I'd been doing. Mm -hmm. Name, Piper Laurie. Where did that come from? Well, somebody just thought of it and wrote it on a piece of paper and handed it to me. You're I kidding. You know, I didn't know it, that I didn't know it was a name, actually. Uh -huh. It looked like a thing. So someone made it up for you, then? Yeah. yeah. And in those days, we, we all had uh, made up names. Theater. First theater, when you went back to New York. What was your first, first break in back in New York? after you left Hollywood? Uh, two one-act plays that Molly Kazan wrote. Mm -hmm. uh, Rosemary and the Alligators. Right. Yeah. And Tennessee Williams? Yeah, I did the... Uh, he loved you. He thought you were one. I knew Tom in, in Bangkok. Yes, I did. And he just loved Piper Laurie. He thought you were one of the greatest actresses. Mm -hmm. Play of, of uh, Tennessee? Yeah, Glass Menagerie. Oh, what, yeah. a great sh what a great play. Did you enjoy doing that? Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, you have something in tears in your eyes right now, Piper Laurie. Tell me, you have something. Yes, you have a tear in your eye right I now. Do. I mentioned oh, about. Oh, I'm very touched that 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 he liked me. Because um, you're such a great actress, you became such one of the America's great actresses. You got. I mean, you packed up your bags, left Hollywood, at the height of your career, and really went to New York and took a chance and did something and became one of the great actresses. You make it chance. sound very courageous. It wasn't courageous at it all. It wasn't? No. I think, you know, when, when you've, there's, a, there's no choice, you know. There's simply you want to do good no stuff. decision to be made. You, uh -huh. know, you just see where you have to go. There's no courage involved. Uh, Were you married then? No. You're, no. Mm -hmm. You're all by yourself? All by myself. Just took care of yourself and just went to New York. I can't imagine. But tell me the movie, The Hustler. How, how did that happen? Well, Robert Rawson saw uh, a workshop production of the two one-act plays in New York. that I did. Yeah, before we opened off Broadway, he saw me in that, and I don't, I don't know how he got the idea for me in the Hustler because the characters were completely different. Uh -huh. But uh, and then you came back to Hollywood. Uh, no, we shot it in New York. In New York, yeah. you did. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I ended up living in New York for twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. You'd never returned back to California? Uh, to I work. think I did occasionally for, uh -huh. a, for a television show, live television. Working with Paul Newman, first time. Looking at his blue eyes, was it exciting for you? Yes, it's, it's <laughs> hard. It's hard to get used to those eyes. Really? <laughs> he 
took a few weeks of rehearsal before I could look him in the face and, and not have to look away. You know, they are extraordinary. How was he to work with, really? Very lovely, lovely yes. man. Yeah. And, and uh, I think he's become a great actor. I mean, he just has grown he's and grown and grown. I think he's going to win the award this year. I believe Mr. Newman is going to get the award this year. What do you think? I wouldn't be surprised. Uh -huh. okay. You have a new movie out right now. Let's just jump a little. You have a new movie out right now. You're just, you brought your director and your producer with you. And uh, uh, Jacqueline uh, Giroux is her name. She is the producer of the film. Yes. Hello, Jacqueline. Yes. How are you? Yeah, fine. Thank and you. And you brought your director, Armand yes. Mastellani, mm -hmm. a nice Italian, Daliano. How yes, are you? Yes, that's right. Yes, where are you from? Naples. No, no, no. <laughs> from Brooklyn, New York, actually. You're from Brooklyn, yeah. really? Mm -hmm. Tell me about this movie. What's this new movie of Miss Piper Laurie and Steve the uh, Rails Back? Rails Back, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And who else? And Olivia Hussey. Oh, wonderful. Tell me about this. Well, um, it's a film called Distortions. And it's um, sort of a thriller like Diabolique uh -huh. or Double Indemnity. Uh -huh. And um, it was something that uh, Jackie had found and was very interested in. And when she approached me uh, with the script, she said, uh, what do you think about this? Uh -huh. Right away I got excited when I said, well, it's a remake of those films and uh -huh. I want to do it. Uh -huh. But we've got to add something new to it. I, I mean, we've got to, uh, I think that uh, when you go to um, make films like the films that have been made, the great mm -hmm. films that have been made, yes. you have to take certain liberties and, and add something new to it because the audience is uh, already familiar with the, th the theme and uh, uh -huh. they want to see something new. So we... Um, approach this uh, with a bit of humor, I think, and I think that that's what really uh -huh. makes this a little bit different. I think. Humor. What does he mean by that, uh, Jacqueline? I well, mean, is there something like <laughs> Rosemary's Baby in it, or what? what is that? No, it's more of like along the, the, the theme of a charade or something like that, where the characters, nobody is really, I like to think about it as nobody is really who they seem they are. Uh -huh. I mean, there's a good side, a bad side to everybody. And mm -hmm. the humorous approach to this is that you see some of the people's bad side before their good side, or vice versa. And those that are good, maybe not as good as you thought they were. Uh, like producer. life. <laughs> yeah, like that. Producer, I understand you were in the tennis circuit. That's Tell right. me about that tennis no. circuit of your days. Yes. You were a photographer. <laughs> yes, she a photographer. First female photojournalist on the male tennis circuit. That's uh -huh. totally correct. And I uh, fought my way, scratched, crawled all the way up there. Did you really? And it was John McEnroe who really saved me from, uh -huh. uh, because it's mostly a male-dominated industry. And I felt I could give it some... No, wait a minute. You're appeal. saying that strictly male, a lot of females are doing tennis now, Well, yes, really. but I was on the male tennis circuit, and as a journalist, yeah. they wanted yeah. males oh, I because see. Yeah. they wanted to keep it the hardcore tennis. Uh -huh. And I said, no. I said, we can bring it to people, us, magazine, life, look, and uh -huh. I did. Uh -huh. And I was the one who got Bjorn Borg's shirt off and his uh -huh. jeans cut down to here and the wind machine going and uh -huh. shot him through an inch of diffusion. And he ended up doing a lot of commercials off of that. John McEnroe, I mean, he's not really a... He's a, not. He's, he's not really. Got a he's heart a of nice gold. guy, isn't he? A heart of gold. I, he's never been a kinder person. I, I mean, he, he's a perfectionist, and uh -huh. because of it right. that, it gets him right. in trouble. Yes. Yeah. I nice see. guy. But you're from Connecticut? Yes. Yeah. Small little town, Monroe. Uh -huh. Where are you from, uh, young lady? Detroit. Detroit. <laughs> I'm from Detroit. <laughs> Detroit, Michigan? Yeah. Really? Um, when did you come to Hollywood? You're when I was about six. Six years old. Mm -hmm. But your first movie was with Ronald Reagan's. You played Ronald Reagan's daughter. Right. Tell me about that. Louisa? Was it Louisa. Louisa. Ronald yeah. Reagan. You remember that? You were only six years old then? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then I understand you used to go out with Rock Hudson. Tell me about yes, Rock yes. Hudson. You, well, Rock took, and I were signed at the same time. Took screen test together. We, yeah, that's right. Screen yeah. test? Yeah. Uh, what kind of guy was I? I remember. Oh, he was lovely, funny. We used to laugh a lot together. He uh, was, I was told that he likes jokes. He was a good Irishman and a good laughter. He loved yeah, to joke, was he? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, he liked to eat, too. Did he love he, to eat? He'd come to my, my mother's house, my mother's kitchen, uh -huh. and uh, she'd always have feast ready for him. Uh -huh. uh, he was a good eater. She liked good eaters. Meat and potato man. He was Irish. Anything. Anything? anything yeah. Really? Quantities of uh -huh. Yeah. He was a he was a 
a nice person. But I understand he took you out on your date, your, for his first, first date or something like that, was it? No, but he did, he and two other boys that mm -hmm. I knew took me uh, to my first circus. Circus. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Nice. Jimmy Best and a, a dear friend of mine, uh, Bob Richards. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we went to the circus. Did you ever study acting and before, uh, I mean, you grew up here, but did you ever study acting in New York and all, all these places, like with Strasburg and all these people? No, I did never you, you studied You never got to Strasburg at all? No, no. I worked with uh, an acting group out here, uh, Benno and Batami Schneider. Uh -huh. who because every time I hear Piper Laurie, I think of Strasburg, Kim Stanley, and all these people that your name gets in there with that. And why is that? Why is that? I don't know. I, n I never, um, I never studied with him, but mm -hmm. um, maybe I should have, uh, but I didn't. But you seem like you're enjoying life right now. Are you happy right yeah. now? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Are I you am. married right now? No. No, you haven't? You have a man in your house? A life right now or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no? You're just happy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Master Andy. First what film, do you want to know? What was your first film? Uh, I did a film called He Knows You're Alone, which MGM right. released. Uh -huh. um, this was a very ambitious project, which we shot on Staten Island for very, very little money uh -huh. and with two very nervous producers who uh, borrowed some money from a bank to make this film. Uh -huh. And um, they were very, very happy about four, five months later when MGM picked uh -huh. up the movie and released it. So. It's an MGM film. Yeah, well, yes, it was an uh -huh. MGM yeah. acquisition. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you brought the clip today for uh, yes. of this new film, mm -hmm. and I love to see it. And it is called Distortions. Distortions. And can we see the clip right now? Absolutely. Do you want to set up the clip for us, or uh, do you know what we're going to see? I think she's at a table. I think Piper Laurie's at a table. Correct. Or something. Is that correct? And she's having yes. a conversation Come. with Olivia Hussey. Good. That's good. about the Mercedes. Should I buy it or should I lease it? I know you don't like to spend your money, but soon you'll have plenty of it. And I broke. God knows. It costs a fortune to run this house. Something your parents never left me money. I spent everything I'd saved on you, raising you. Now you owe me. I've made you a favorite and you haven't touched a thing. Pipers, that was great. Yeah, yeah that was a good. Smart. Olivia Hussey, was she, how was she to work with? Oh, she's wonderful. Is she? Yeah. She's a lovely, good. lovely actress. Easy direction. Mm -hmm. She does wonderful. It. Yes. What do you take? What do you ask for for your actresses? Do you let them do their thing and free them, and then you uh, you let them see it, you see it first, and then if you like it, you let well, them keep it, or what, what do we do? do is we try to talk about you know what we're going to do with the role and you know where we are in the script at that point. And, you know, I like to give uh, actors uh, as much freedom as possible to, uh -huh. you know, explore. Uh, sometimes you don't have that kind of luxury, but... Uh, Does an actress come to you and suggest things? Uh, like, occasionally, like, occasionally. Like a star like Miss Piper Laurie, would she come to mm -hmm. you and suggest things? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think uh, uh, we discussed quite a few things on this, on this film, and we had a lot of fun making it. She's a pleasure to work with. Miss Laurie. Piper Laurie. I love that name, Piper Laurie, though. God, it's a, but did you, did, uh, do you have difficulty, people, with that Piper at the beginning of your career? Uh, Tell me. There were a lot, of, a lot jokes. of jokes. Yeah, really. Yeah, they, in between the movies, the universe would send me out on, on the road to sell the movies. Right. And I was introduced at banquets uh, as uh, Miss Piper Cub uh -huh. <laughs> or uh, Miss Peter Laurie. Uh -huh. uh, oh, there were a few others. Uh -huh. Who's some of the exciting actors that you work with in your early days? 
in Hollywood. Tyrone Power. Tell me about Tyrone Power. Oh, yeah, 20th Century. What movie was that? It was a universal movie was called it? Mississippi Gambler. Oh, that's right. That's right. On the boats. Uh -huh. He was a ship. That's right. Yeah. Was that in Universal? Yeah. Because he was in the 20th century, wasn't he? Right. But I think he had a piece of that movie. And I remember his wife, Linda Christian, tested for the part. And I did, too. Uh -huh. But you got it. I got the part. I, don't know. I was so frightened. The first day I met him was the, did sc that the screen test. Did that upset him his wife didn't get it, would you say? Well, if it did, he... He didn't he, show it. He didn't show it. Was he no. nice to work with? Yes, nice man. Mm -hmm. I bought him chewing gum every day. He and didn't smoke, did he? I don't remember. Everyone seemed to smoke in those days, so I don't really, uh -huh. including me. Um, but the first day I met him was the, the day of the screen uh -huh. test, and the first moment of the scene uh -huh. was a passionate kiss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Looking back over your life right now, do you have any regrets at all? The only regret I have is one part that I did, and I didn't take a chance. I was too shy to do my own singing. It was a, a television show quite a few years ago. Uh, it was about Lee Wiley, the singer. Uh -huh. um, it was a good show. Uh, and they, they hired somebody else to, mm -hmm. to do her, her singing. I, mm -hmm. That would have been fun, and I'd... That's your only regret? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Is that your only regret? Yeah. So you seem very happy right now. Does that Can make me seem arrogant? Or no, something? just you seem content. I'm really glad to be alive. You, you're glad to be alive? Yeah. I'm really glad to be right here. Really, Piper Laurie? That's a, you're happy in California right now, though? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be going to GE, so. tell me about the theater, the Playhouse, uh, 90 Playhouse, and all those wonderful things, you know, the television shows you did with Robert Montgomery. Tell me about those days. That uh, must have been fun. That was back in New York or here? Yes, that was in New, New York. York. Yeah. Robert you Montgomery was my first live television show. Yeah. Was it hard to do a live television show those, back those days? It was, we were talking about it in the car coming over here today. Uh -huh. It was scary, it was, but it was very exciting. Scary? Yeah, it was like an opening night on uh -huh. Broadway. But you like you know, that, though. Great actresses like that feeling of... Well, you know, it's, uh, I began to like it after I'd done it a few times, but I, let me tell you, the first couple of times, it's like life or death, and you think, if I, if I can face this, I can face my death, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And there's great temptation to just leave town. But, uh, and when you don't, you, you, you're very proud of yourself. And then you get addicted to it. It's very exciting. Uh -huh. Have you ever been married? Yes, I was married for almost 20 years. 20 years? Do you have children? Yes, I have a daughter. She's 16. Six, and she's uh, in, in the business at all? No. Or? No. She, she's not? Mm -hmm. No. She's I see. Piper Laurie, I'm telling you, I, there's something about you that I feel that you're going to win this year. I just feel it. You've been up and nominated so many times, I just feel that you're going to win. I, I hope you are. I just feel it. What do you think, folks? <laughs> Absolutely. What do you think? Yeah, yes. She's got she has a vote. chance, doesn't oh, she? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, she does. Just the name, Piper Laurie. She yeah. should get it. Yeah. No, not, not, I didn't mean it that way. She says she's a great actress, and she excellent. should get it. But you brought another clip right now, a trailer. Mm -hmm. I love to see oh, the trailer. What, what is that, tra well. Jacqueline? Tell me about the trailer. The trailer is magnificent because it doesn't give too much away of the movie, yet it tells everything. It's a very visual trailer, and we set out to do it this way for a very specific reason. When you see, uh -huh. you'll see why. Can I see the trailer now? Yes, can please. We, can we roll it? Let's see it. The seduction, the crime, the deception, the betrayal. Distortions.
Olivia Hussey, Steve Railsback, Piper Laurie, Edward Albert, June Chadwick, Rita Gam, Terence Knox. Music. Distortions. Great. What yes. was that? What was she doing? What was it? What was she carrying? I have never seen any of this. I have to confess. You haven't seen it? No. Oh, I haven't God. Gone. Oh, she's crazy. What is mm -hmm. she carrying on about? Gee, I got to see know. this movie. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I got to get back. 35th anniversary of the Hallmark. You have a thing coming up, right? Tell me about that. Oh, that was uh, on. Uh, a couple it has weeks been ago. on? Oh, yes, I that was know. called Promise. With James Garner and, mm. um, and James, James Woods, Woods, who yes, won yes, the, uh -huh. the Golden Globe for yes. Best Actor. It was a great... Who's also up for an Academy Award. James Wood is great, isn't he? Oh, he's wonderful. Yeah. Now, how about James Garner to work with? What kind of guy is he? I'm very lucky. I, I get to work with all these... You are lucky. Yeah. I can only remember one actor that I thought was a... That's Ruby. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> I really mean, no. <laughs> you, 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 all your years, you have only worked with one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he was terrible. He uh, was terrible. Yeah, hmm? yeah. I can't believe uh, Piper Laurie. Warner Brothers, uh, is, that a, is that a Warner Brothers thing, that CBS, of the uh, James Gardner? No. Yes. Was yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Van Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke, is it? Yes. Tell me about him. God, I don't, I don't know that much about him. You don't? He just stays in Marina Del Rey with his lovely wife, and that's it? That's he, okay. He's, a, he's but you a don't know? terrifically talented man, and, uh -huh. and it was very nice. Rainbow. To work with him. That was a great show. Rainbow. Did you see that on TV when she did Judy Garland's mother? She played Judy Garland's mother. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I yeah. loved. <laughs> that was uh, fun. Pretending that I could play. You're pretending. Yeah, yes, yes. I always believed it. You know, you know, faking it. She's a very talented little girl, isn't she? Yeah, a beautiful voice. What's happening with her career? I don't right know. Now? I don't See, know. They make one thing and nothing. You don't hear from them again. Yes. Now, what do you think about Lesser Children of Lesser God of Marlena? Do you think she's going to do something else? Tell me about working with her, Marlene. Uh, God. She's up for the award for Best Actress of yes, the Year. Yes, she's. Uh, she's got a tough one to I, beat, Kathleen I, Turner. Yeah. Believe me. She's a, she's a good actress. I think she's extraordinarily but, talented. And, and uh, I was really glad to see her success in that. Mm -hmm. but I think it's important that that movie was made. And I'm really it was glad to see yes, that it's, it was. it's doing well. It's going to open, it's going to open doors for a lot of those people, yes. Don't you think so? Yes, yes. She, she, but what else can she do after that? Do you think there's... Well, uh, she's got a movie that she's doing, about to do. Uh -huh. I don't know the name of it, but it sounds fascinating. I think it's in Brazil or someplace. Uh -huh. Someone told me about it. What's, what's happening with Piper Laurie's life at the moment now? You're well, out with this new movie, and what, you're going back to New York, or you're staying yes, here? Yes, I'm, I'm going to New York to do uh, another film in, in a couple of weeks, and then after that I'm doing a, a play for uh, PBS mm -hmm. um, for... Uh, <clears throat> it's a, it's a two-character play. Uh -huh. uh, Madge Sinclair and I are doing, I'm playing Mrs. Lincoln, and she's playing uh, Mrs. Lincoln's uh, dressmaker maid. Uh -huh. And then I'm doing a William Luce play, William Luce who wrote yes. Bell of Amherst, uh -huh. and uh, Charles Nelson Riley is directing me. In Good this, director. So, yeah. yeah. So. Back, is that going to be in Florida? Uh, actually, we did it in Florida for a couple of uh, Bert, uh, Bert performances uh -huh. to see how it went. It's uh, uh -huh. one person play 
and uh, we're going to be touring with it. You enjoy the theater so, better than the film? Is it's, I know it's a big difference. Do you? Do I like you? both. I think it depends on the material and the people you're working with, and uh, uh -huh. it really depends. Like both? Yes. But yeah. There's no preference. No. no. Well, that's strange. It's a lot. How about you? you you're you're from the theater too, originally. No, you're no, not originally. No, originally from the mm -hmm. film. But you're from the theater. Yes. You started where? Back in. Uh, I started so long ago. I don't even want back to talk. Back in New York. No. Back in New York. Yes, uh -huh. I started at the Westport Playhouse. Uh huh. And I worked on both sides. As an actress. As and? an actress, and I also worked in production both. Uh -huh. And I could never make up my mind which side I was ever going to end up on. But uh -huh. I'm glad I ended up on this. After seeing a real actress, I'm really glad that I uh -huh. ended up on this side. It's wonderful to watch. It's tough to be a producer, is it? Um, I find it very easy. Um, I know what I want, and, and I go after it, and, mm -hmm. I, and, and, and I make a total commitment to this side now, and mm -hmm. this is why I love it, really. I see. Yes. You have done The Dark Side, mm -hmm. the other side? Tales from the Dark Side. That's a fun show. Yep. I like that yes. show. Mm -hmm. You directed mm -hmm. that show. Mm -hmm. uh, what's, what's the man's the producer of that show? His name is uh, Tommy? Tom uh, Castronova, yeah. T.J. Castronova. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Very good Italian, friend. Daliano. Yes. yes. Uh, we try to keep it in the family, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you the only one in the business, uh, uh, show business, in your family? Uh, yeah, in my family, uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Daryl? Yes, the only one in my family. Really? The only one on this coast. Everybody else is on the East Coast. My whole family. I see. Piper, you were very close with your mother at the years, weren't you? Were you? I was, yes. Yes. Yeah. You, and you lost her, is that it?